on all of my nurses as well as my healthcare professionals alike. I hope that you all are having a wonderful day. We're going to continue this steam train of ATIT's math questions and start discussing percentages. new to my channel make sure that you hit that subscribe button that lets you know when I post new content on here and keeps you up to date on all things nursing. If you're an oldie but a goodie make sure that you give me that big thumbs up as well as leave me a comment down below with any questions you have or any concerns or maybe even topics that you want me to cover in the future. Let's get started. So to begin, the ATITs will ask the applicant to determine the increase or decrease in percentage as represented by certain numbers. In addition, the applicant can be asked how to calculate percentages into final numbers when provided an operation at about a specific percentage change. So let's get started in trying to figure all that information out. So to begin, we must understand what percentages are and how to calculate them. So what is a percentage? A percentage is a portion of an amount. So percentages can be expressed in two different ways. They can be expressed in a fraction, say 10 over 100, or they can be expressed as 10 percent. So let's simplify an expression. What is 10 percent of 200? In order to perform this operation, we must multiply the number by the percentage that is given. We must first turn the percentage into a decimal. So how do we convert percentages into decimals? Well, most percentages are based on 100%. So if you were trying to figure out 10%, you're gonna move your decimal over two places to the left. So 10% becomes 0.10. It is very important that you add that zero before a decimal, especially in healthcare, because a lot of medication errors and mathematical errors in general are made that way when you don't appropriately perform the operation. So once the percentage is converted to a decimal, we can multiply the operation. So 200 times 0 0.10 is equal to 20. So like I said previously, most percentages are based on 100%, and that's how we figure out our decimal. However, there are percentages that are greater than 100 and are performed exactly the same way. So for example, what is 300% of 15? First, we convert the percentage to a decimal place. So like with 100, we're gonna go ahead and move the decimal over twice to the left. So as we move the decimal twice to the left, we get the number three. 300% is equal to three. 0 .00 if that helps you understand the decimal moving to the left. Lastly, we multiply 15 by 3. 15 by 3 is equal to 45, so our final answer is 45. 300% of 15 is 45. So just like percentages can be based on 100 or be above 100%, they can also be less than 1. So looking at this operation, what is 0.2% of 200? First, we must begin by converting the percentage into a decimal number only. How do we do that? Just like we did before, we're going to go ahead and move our decimal over to the left two times. So in order to do that, we're going to take 0.2% and that becomes 0 0.0020. Because it is already technically a decimal, all we're really doing is adding two zeros to the right side of the decimal. Now we can multiply 200 by 0 0.002 and our final answer is 0 0.4. Now that we understand how to perform equations with percentages, we must understand how to perform increases and decreases with percentages. So as stated previously, another kind of operation likely to be found on the ATITs is increasing and decreasing with percentages. So for example, a computer went on sale for 30% off its original price. The original price is $1,060. What is now the new sales price? So if you're looking to save time as well as your brain when you're taking the ATITs, you might have to perform something a little bit more logical in regards to your math problems. So there's another way to perform this operation. We have already established that the computer is 30% off of the original price. This means that the store is still technically charging 70% of the computer's original price. 
So to begin, we have to convert the percentage to a decimal. So we know that 70% is equal to 0.7. Once we make that conversion, we can go ahead and multiply our original price by now our decimal. So $1,060 times 0.7 is equal to 742. The new sales price that the company is now charging for that computer is $742, and we only had to perform one operation. So now that we understand decreases with percentages, we're going to move on to the increases with percentages. Like I said previously, the ATIT's test is going to test the applicant on how to perform increased percentage operations on given quantities. So let's take a look at this example. For example, a retail store increases its monthly sales from 2,000 to 4,000 in one month. What is the percentage increase in sales for the retail store? So this operation is a little bit more complicated because we're not given a percentage, they're asking us to figure out the percentage. So to begin, we must first determine how much more money the retail store made in one month. We will subtract the previous month's sales from the current month's sales. So 4,000 minus 2,000 is 2,000. They made an additional $2,000 in one month. So now that we know the total sales increase amount, we need to start working a little bit more with those fractions. So we know that the total sales increase is $2,000. Now that we have determined what the percentage increase is, we need to go ahead and perform the following operation. So percentage increase is equal to the amount of increase over the original amount. So we know that our amount of increase is 2,000. We're going to put that in our numerator and we know that our original amount is 2,000 and we're going to put 2,000 in our denominator. We're going to perform our division of the fraction. We're going to simplify it and we're going to get one. But because they're looking for an increase in regards to a percentage, we need to move our decimal over two places to the right. So one becomes 100% after moving that decimal two places to the right. And our final answer for the question is 100%. I hope that this information was helpful for you in understanding the math portion as well as percentages for your ATIT's examination and hopefully get you passing that examination like a boss. If you have any more questions, feel free to leave comments down below. I love answering them. And until next time, I hope that you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.